in this session we will see how to connect power bi desktop to postgresql in my previous sessions for sql i have already explained how to install postgresql in your system so let's get started for connecting your power bi to postgresql the first thing that you need to do is click on this get data option i'll click on this click on more and then you need to search for postgresql uh, you will find this option postgresql database so just click on this option and click on this connect button the next thing that you need is the server and the database name so how can you find the server and database name within the postgresql for that uh, for the server and database name all you need to do is open your postgresql account and below server there is this option postgresql you can just right click on this and go to properties uh, then go to connection and within connection you will see this host name or address which is localhost so you need to put localhost as your server name and database name we already know that is srikant this is the database name that i had created so i'll be using localhost as server name and srikant as my db name accordingly you can find it for yourself so as we discussed localhost is my server name and srikant is my database name uh, data connectivity made data connectivity mode let's say i want to set as direct query and then i will click on this okay button in my case i am redirected to this page but but when you try to connect to postgresql for the first time uh, there would be an additional page wherein you will be requested to put the username and password so where will you find that username and password for that all you need to do is so in the same window that we were discussing so here we can see that the username is post gres that is a default username and the password will be the same password that you must have used at the time of installing postgresql even in that session i had requested to note down the password somewhere so you need to use the exact same password and put it once you put this username and the password which you had used at the time of installation of postgresql then you will be redirected to this page so within the shrikant database i have got these two tables okay and let's just say that i want to import both these tables so so i will click on the transform data i will just make a few corrections and then import this data so let me expand this so while importing the data i don't need these additional columns so i'll just right click this and remove these columns and these are not required and same thing i'll do in this table as well I'll, re I'll remove these two columns and then i am okay and as i can see the data type looks okay to me in both the tables so i will click on the close and apply button and then we can see that we are able to import the data successfully from postgresql there is one important thing to note here is that you can see report view you can see model view but there is no data view why is that Because because we are connected to postgresql through the direct query mode that is why we are not able to see the data view but we can see the report view and the model view okay so what i will do uh, the first customer id is rahul sharma so what i will do i will make some changes in the name for rahul sharma in postgresql and we will see whether it reflects in the power bi as well okay so let's see so i have created this query wherein i am updating the name of rahul sharma as just rahul i am removing the surname so i have i have written this update command update customer update customers actually that is the table name and set customer name is equal to rahul where customer id is equal to 1 and then i will run this query now be careful because if you do not use the where keyword no it will update the customer name for all the rows in the table i had i had made this mistake as a beginner so please be careful and ensure that you make use of this where keyword while updating the data so i'll run this and now if we see the table the, now if you have a look at the table we can only see the name as rahul and we have removed the surname now we will see whether the same thing is reflecting in power bi as well or not so now i'll click on this refresh button and see whether this rahul sharma's name is getting updated or not with this we can validate whether the direct query is working or not so let's just start i click on the button and as we can see as expected the name has been changed to rahul that means 
the moment the data is updated in PostgreSQL or SQL, we are able to see the changes in Power BI as well. And as I always say, you should definitely practice this. Don't just watch my videos. Okay. Thank you so much.